Well, this is what I call the Frankenberry, and well, you'll see. So a few people have asked me how I generate the time that's displaying on my little black and white CRT TVs. You know, I need something to use these old sets for, right? Displaying the time is perfect. And the answer is quite simple. I'm using an old phone that was I haven't used forever. I'm using an old BlackBerry Z10, although I can do the same thing with my playbook. I've got the same apps on it. Some of them are apps, others are actually, it's an animation. And I'll show you the old phone that I use. It still works. It's working today. You see, BlackBerry shut everything down, but it still works for this, and it still pulls the time off the internet. So here's the setup the museum. I'm going to bring it into the shop and show you guys what I'm using. So this is basically what I'm using. I call this the Frankenberry. Because you see, the battery on this thing exploded like five years ago. And this is the battery, believe it or not. I've got it plugged in to keep it charged. But this is what I'm using to keep this phone running. Because these phones will not run if they don't have a battery in it. When the battery is shot, if you take the battery out, the phone will not boot. It needs to see a battery. So I'm using an old 18650, but that's not just it. You see, I had to modify this to make it work. And this is why I call it the Frankenberry, because in the back here, you can see what I've done. This is the battery management board that was part of the original battery. So I actually had to open the battery up get the battery management board out and reconnect it to the four terminals on the phone and give me a way to disconnect it because if I ever have to reboot the thing and shut it right down I need a way to make it the phone think I pulled the battery so I put a switch in there so I can do that and then these wires are just connected to the battery itself I keep it plugged in obviously so that it's always running I don't have to worry about the battery going dead you notice that the phone has an HDMI output so this HDMI output is just going to a little HDMI to video adapter which converts it to video and then I can just pick I got a bunch of stuff on here from when I used to use the phone but but basically I've got different apps so I can put up any different type of clock that I want like the segment clock you guys have seen this one right that's one and uh, how do I close it down? I gotta just swipe it. And uh, what are some of the other ones I've got on here? That one. It's kind of neat. And you can enlarge it by just zooming in. So I've got these all these different clock apps on my old Blackberry that I can set up and close this down so swipe up what other ones do I have on here uh, desk clock that one is just that if I turn it sideways it'll That will turn sideways. If I plug in HDMI, it actually goes full screen. Because what else are you going to use an old, an old, uh, useless BlackBerry for? This one. If I turn my auto rotate off, I may have turned off my auto rotate rotational lock there. I must have tapped the screen when I was moving it in here. I was wondering why things weren't weren't working like they should have been. Um, go back to the flip clock for example. Turn it that way and it will center on the screen. Some of the other ones I've got is like this one here. And that's how that one works. Then of course there's just standard desk clock with seconds. This is one of the ones I use quite often.
this will eventually form the time. There's another one. And you can change the color of the uh, of the uh, display itself. You go into display settings and change the color, change the change the uh, show uh, show seconds or not. Change it from blue to uh, say I want it in orange, for example. Now the display will show up in orange. If you really want to confuse people, this one here will display it as hex or time. This is another flip clock that this one's got, which has seconds flipping, which is kind of neat. So to keep things simple, I just put them all on one page. So here, here are the different clocks. There's one, two, this one three is the flip clock. And if I turn it this way, it goes like that. And it can be centered on the screen. And there's one last one I'll show you guys. That one there, again, you can turn it sideways and it'll go to full screen. And you can enlarge it, right, so that it'll fill the whole screen. Like that. That one. I think that's the same as some of them. Some of them look the same. <clears throat> that one. The rolling display, and again, if I turn it sideways, it'll go like that, which is kind of neat. I saw that one, that's the one that does hex. This is the segment clock. There's one that I haven't shown you guys yet. These these ones are all just just apps that I you know got over the years. That you can use to display the time on on your phone, and they'll stay on all the time if it's powered up. Uh, another flip clock. Uh, we saw that one. This one. One I haven't shown you guys though is this was one that uh, will only. The only thing to run on is one of these. Uh, it won't run on anything else because it's not really a um, it's not really an app at all. It's actually just a uh, we saw that one the blocks blocks clock right. Every time a new minute rolls in, it builds it out of blocks. But uh, one of the coolest one of them all is uh, not even a clock itself. It's done through, um, let's see if I can find it here, should be in, uh, I think it's in miscellaneous, yeah, it's a shockwave file, SWF, if I click on this, now that one's kind of cool, there was a time you could run that on web browsers, because it's just, it was just a standard SWF file, but of course Adobe shut down the whole Shockwave thing, so this file won't play on any browser. They disabled it. They actually went into your browser and shut it off, so you can't play any SWF files. I thought this one was kind of cool, because uh, you know, it's, it's animated. How cool is that? Anyway, that's a use for an old BlackBerry. If you've got an old BlackBerry 10, of course, you have to have the apps on there. If you don't have the apps, you're not getting them now, but that's what I've been using this thing for ever since I stopped using it as a phone because, say, the battery went bad on it. I couldn't get a new battery. I had replaced it with a Z30, and I was using that as a phone, and, uh, and I've got most of these are on my playbook. Well, a lot of them are on my playbook. I don't have this one loaded on the playbook, but I have a BlackBerry playbook as well, and, and say I switch them, switch them up once in a while depending on what I want to display because I've got different ones on the playbook that's on here. Anyway, I just figured I would show you guys. Here's my old my old Frankenberry 
that's got a giant battery on this thing so even if it's not plugged in it will run like literally this battery if I unplug this even with the display running all the time on it it'll run this thing here for like a week without having to uh, plug it in but I keep it plugged in obviously because I'm just using this as a clock anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye